Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to the vlog. It is Friday. It is an absolutely gorgeous day outside today. Super sunny. I can't, I haven't been outside yet. Uh, it's about quarter to 11. I just finished putting together the ghost pepper challenge and I'm just uploading it. I had to make the thumbnail for it. Um, again, I think we'll, we talked about this in the past where I'll, I'll show you how I make my thumbnails. I don't think I've got around to that yet. Uh, but I just wanted to go through some of the mail that I got recently and yeah, I've got, I've got a few letters here and I just wanted to, to share them with you. I'm not going to read the whole letter because that'll just take too much time. Uh, so I got a nice letter from Marcos and I basically loves my reviews and uh, he actually was at the Eaton Center and tried the New York's New York fries poutine and uh, it was delicious he said thanks for the letter I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate all these letters and I'm keeping them all I have a special folder and I'm putting all your letters in a special folder uh, the next one is from Portland Oregon and it's from Paula I can't show you the other side of the letter because her address is on there I gotta be respectful uh, but she uh, loves my vlogs and comedy that I always that always makes her smile. Uh, here's some pictures from uh, Oregon. Stay safe, Paula. So she sent me a whole bunch of postcards. Again, I wanted postcards from you guys so I can make a postcard wall. And uh, when I do live shows um, in the future, <laughs> not right now. I'm kind of busy. Uh, then I'm gonna have a nice wall of, of postcards from around the world and your postcard could be in my video uh, of course I'll share when you guys send me letters I always sh I'm gonna try and share them all the time on my vlog channel uh, this one I can't show you either because his, his email or his address is on the front this is from Peter and I think we talked about his before but I haven't filed it away so I wasn't sure if I actually did talk about his letter but again he just you know I'm just writing to say uh, how much I watch uh, I enjoy watching your food reviews on YouTube. Thank you very much, Peter. And it's a nice long letter, wow. And he also really likes the fact that I uh, donate uh, food to the food bank. Like last week, we Ben and I bought two cases of baby food and dropped it off at the food bank. I took a picture of ourselves in front of another empty shelf, but I just haven't had time to deal with that right now. Um, I wanted to post a picture of Ben and I in front of an empty shelf that has cereal boxes and they need cereal all the time. It's definitely uh, something that goes in and out of a food bank very fast. So uh, I think I'll post that picture when I come back from holidays and uh, I think for every 50 likes, I'll buy up another box of Cheerios or whatever. All right, so I have to head out of here, uh, pick up some money from one of my clients and then from there, we'll go to the blood bank. And I'll show you me giving me blah, 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 blood. Do you like blood? I like blood. That's enough. I also forgot to tell you about last night. Last night, I went for a bike ride. Um, and I videotaped, I guess, the before and after. So here it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I thought I'd go for a quick bike ride. It is uh, 7 o'clock in the evening. And the sun's just going down. And uh, so I'm just going to go for like a half hour, probably a 13 to 15k bike ride, and because uh, dinner's ready, so I gotta go fast. We'll see how many calories you, calories we burn. Hang on. Just got back. My heart rate is 122 at the moment. I burned 703 calories in 30 minutes. It. Uh, Definitely is this a little bit high. I probably would agree with that. Don't know why, it's always been pretty accurate in the past, but hey, because uh, I think around Christmas time when I was riding, I would burn, I would ride for an hour hard and I would burn like maybe a thousand in an hour, which is totally conceivable. But at this rate, <laughs> I'd burn 1400 if I could do that for an hour. Anyway, talk to you later. I thought I'd take you for a little bike ride and show you what I did today. Just tonight. See ya. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. All right, it's time to walk the dog. Sam. Sam, say hi. <gasps> Do you smell something? He's not interested in you guys today. Sorry about that. But uh, he's actually scared of something there. He's all timid. Weirdo. Guys, locked out. I shut the camera off just in time. 
for Sam to have his dump. Right, Sam? Guess enough of that. And we're back. All right, we're on our way up to Alcona. I just got to pick up a check uh, from one of my clients. And then we're heading over to the donation bloody thing. The bloody donations. That's what they should call it, make it fun. The bloody donations, and they all should dress up like vampires. That would be hilarious. Anyway, uh, one of the questions yesterday that I got was, why don't you use your GoPros in your car? Uh, the main reason I bought this Canon Vixia X Mini is because of the file format. I don't have to do a whole lot to it, uh, whereas the GoPros shoot MPEG, and then I have to convert them into MOV files so that uh, Final Cut Pro 7 can read them and edit them and then get them up on YouTube. So. This camera, I could actually shoot, if, if I was to vlog once a day and just give you a whole bunch of stuff, I could take this card out, put it on my computer, literally drag it into YouTube and it would just upload because uh, it's just the right format. And that's why I bought this camera mainly and plus I love the wide angle. Uh, the GoPros have the wide angle too, but you can't see what you're shooting. This was uh, this is the ultimate camera. Dame liked it so much, he went out and bought one and he started vlogging. So he's on vlog two as of today. And also Dame invited me uh, to a secret video that you'll see eventually on Dame's channel. Uh, I don't wanna talk about it just in case Dame doesn't want me to talk about what the actual video is about. But I'm in, so Dame uh, sent me a Facebook message today and asked me if I wanted to be part of this video. So you guys will love it. It'll be on Dame's channel and he's getting Matthew Santoro onto it and some other people. So check it out. And that will be in the next couple weeks or more. So let's say three weeks, because I think he said the deadline's two weeks, uh, but I got to get mine shot today and sent to him so that he can screw around with it because I'd, I'm going to be going away. Costa Rica, here we come. All right, we're all done that. I'd picked up my money from the dance studio. Now I'm driving west on uh, Innisfil Beach Road, going through the town of uh, Alcona. And one of the questions, or uh, just what happened yesterday was I commented on Matt Stoney's video because he made this huge cookie bowl. It was like 18,000 calories and then he put a gallon of ice cream in it and ate it. So it was like 23,000 or 28,000 calories he ate. Almost, he almost finished it. And so I put on there like yummy, I like watching the guy. And I, you get so many people attacking my, my comment saying, you know, get shut the hell up or uh, what is it called? S T F U <laughs> or what? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and it's so funny. And then my awesome subscriber and supporter, Ricky, Thanks, Ricky. He comes in, swoops down, and just bitches them out, man. It was so hilarious. And I don't like. I, I rarely comment back to the haters because they just don't understand that I'm supporting Matt Stoney, and I actually do watch, like watching his videos. And why can't I leave a comment on his video? So uh, thanks, Ricky. You rock, buddy. All right, we're on our way to the blood clinic. Uh, I just wanted to touch on the Hala Halal food video downtown uh, New York City. A lot of you guys, thank you very much to all my Arabic friends who translated what they were, what the guys were saying at the cart and it was basically something about, you know, the last person forgot their receipt or something and they just had like a friendly little thing and most of the people agree that it's not them that uh, said that. Somebody else said, I just read it while I was at the lights, um, Somebody said that you're not allowed to videotape on public property, yet so many other big name YouTubers do it, like Ed, Bass, Ed Bassmaster, he videotapes in Central Park, and Times Square, and as far as I know, he never gets uh, questioned on his videos, so I don't know. Is it a person? Is it a place? Uh, somebody said I'm on CBS uh, public property, but is the sidewalk CBS's public property? Because I was on the sidewalk the whole time. So, I don't know. Let's keep that conversation going if you know any more information. It's a good conversation, I'm telling you. All right, we made it. We're at the uh, Blood Donor Clinic in Barrie on Bayfield Street here, and uh, let's go save some lives. 
I like to drink lots of water before I get blood, just so I don't pass out. So they just uh, finished taking my blood pressure and stuff. So there's my readings. I put it up on Instagram, maybe. And then I uh, had to fill out some stuff. And she leaves the room and I had to go put a sticker somewhere on there saying, yes, use my blood. So I'm giving blood. And there's my arm. There's my blood. It's drawing it out more than halfway done. We're almost there. Then I get free juice and cookies. So after you give blood, they give you drinks, cookies. Look at all those treats you get to eat. You just have to sit here for a bit and rehydrate and get some food in you so you don't pass out. So there you go. I just gave a pint of blood, I guess. And I've got my little thing on there. Helps keep the pressure on help prevent bruising. I also got my 10 year pin, or sorry, 10 donation, 10 year, 10 donation pin, which is awesome. Look, check it out, check it out. And uh, I think uh, when you get hit your 25th donation, then you actually get your card upgraded and it'll actually say 25 and big, big numbers on your card to show that you're 25 donations in and then they have a 50, a 75, a 100, a 150, a 200 and on. Anyway guys, I'm off to the next thing. I think I have to go drop off a DVD. I just finished shooting a Taco Bell uh, food review which will go up next Friday. I, I guess if today is the first, that would be the 8th. Friday the 8th of August. Man, this time's flying by really fast. So you'll have to wait till then to find out what I rated and what I ate. Ooh. I'll probably throw a picture up on Instagram today or tomorrow. Just to get you guys all like craving, craving to watch the video from Taco Bell. Taco, 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 Taco Bell. So I'm back in Alcona. I was just on the phone with Carol and we were talking about what kind of cookies I eat when I was giving blood. And they're like these peak creams, cream, fruit cream things. And we also said we also like the chocolate stick type cookies. I'm not sure what they're called. But uh, now I'm here at Sobeys. I think they might actually have it. So these are the cookies we were talking about. These are peak creams. And the chocolate one there on your right, that's the, I'm pretty sure they would, they would sell it just a box of those. But they sell these ones. And these are the ones I ate when I was giving blood. So I was kind of hoping I could surprise Carol with a box of just the chocolate ones. But I think I'll buy her just this, because that's all there is. Love you, Carol. Well, Sobeys didn't have it. I just got the one box of the cream, the fruit. Fruit cream biscuits. Yummy. I'm holding my wallet against my chest with my arm. Here we see at home. Just got home in time as pouring rain. Check it out. Through the screen. Not through the screen. Through the screen. Not through the screen. Before I sign off, the kitties and doggies want to say hi. <laughs> That's why you call one relaxed kitty. There's Sam. And there's Sunny. I'm not sure if the camera will correct itself. That's what you call one lazy kitty. Very relaxed. No stress whatsoever. Right, Sunny? Yeah, that's it. Smell that camera. And there's Louie. Say hello, Lou. Hello, Lulu. Lulu. Louie. No hitting cameras. Oh, gosh. Louie, what you doing? That was a good shot. Uh-oh. Look, two chairs, three animals. Uh-oh. I thought we were gonna have a fight. Oh. All right, guys, it's six o'clock. 
one hour before the ghost pepper challenge happens so i'm going to edit this vlog as fast as possible get that up and out for you guys to watch hopefully before the ghost pepper challenge launches uh nobody's home right now so i might be able to get a fast upload speed once again guys thanks for hanging out today checking out what i did today you know delivering d dvds picking up money uh giving blood let me know if you've given blood. Uh, you next next time you go and give blood, here's here's something I want to do for you. If you go and get give blood, tweet it out. Take a, ask the lady to take a picture of you or a picture of your arm, whatever, and you know put at Ken Domic so that I see it on Twitter. So I'll get a notification that you did that, and then I'll retweet it out to everybody to show that you're giving blood too. That way we'll spread the word. Everybody gives blood. That would be awesome. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching Ken's vlog. Ken out. Bye.